What's going on, good Nova Squad? My name is Nova. Welcome back to the channel. And before we get started on this episode, look, guys, I want to say I do apologize. I know last week I said we were going to finish up this episode sometime last week, but I got caught up in all of the other videos that people were uh, sending me. You know, the requests on about about a Matt and and, and Shane's um, a podcast, whatever. I was really enjoying the whole heap of videos, but again, I do I do apologize. Uh, we we gonna finish everything today. Like there, there's like no pauses, no 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 nothing, etc. etc. Uh, so I am fully committed to finish up this video today, so I can actually give you guys the satisfaction, especially on uh, especially today, you know, Friday. Well, I feel like I glitched out, golly. Well, anyways, uh, without further ado, here we go. That's kind of gay, bro. You gotta justify yourself. You're like, dude, I, I was at the fucking pool bar. He's like, oh, day drinking. Sick, dude. Going in there. I did apologize. Uh, there we go. Yes. I'm in. Yeah, people don't really care, I feel like, about like the, you know, traditional gay stuff, you know, gay marriage, all that stuff. That was a big deal a while ago. Nobody really cares anymore. I think that's a good thing. Weirdly, though, there's still like five bakers down south fighting the fight. You know those like cake shop owners who won't make cakes for gay weddings? They're like Rambos in the woods, dude. They don't know the war's over. <laughs> That's such a weird arena for that type of thing, too. Like two gay men walk into a cake shop and the owner's just fucking jerking off an icing bag like... What? Dude, we love pussy in this cake shop. <laughs> We're not down with that shit you guys do. Let me get back to finishing the sugar dove. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this cake and finger my wife, dude. It's like... <laughs> get out of my cake shop, you guys. <laughs> That's like the gayest way you can be homophobic. I don't know. <laughs> I guess so, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. They do have the constitutional right to deny services to whoever they want. And I love the Constitution. So it's, it's, it's shitty, because the Constitution does rule, but also it's like, make the boys some fucking cake. I feel like, here's what I think we should do to solve the problem. It's like, all right, cake shop owners, they have to make the cake. It's in the law, you gotta do the cake, but they can make whatever cake they want. Just a seven-tiered layers of hell, fucking. <laughs> just two melting grooms, just. Uh, <laughs> two melting grooms, that's crazy. Or whatever, I don't know. <laughs> Speaking of gay guys, I uh, I have a food allergy. Wait, how was that? I have a gluten allergy, dude. It sucks. I know it sucks. <laughs> okay. My uncles all give me shit. They're like, you just do this gluten stuff for attention. It's like the only attention I get is you guys calling me a pussy. That's, I don't want that. Dude, they pick me off. I go to family parties. I walk in, have my whole family with me. Like, oh shit, Marsh, it's Matt. He can't have bread. Uh, do we have any bowls of cum in the refrigerator? That's <laughs> 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 man. I'm trying to do a comeback. I have nothing. I'm like, that, that would be so much cum. There's no way you guys fucking. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, it is. It's, you know, it's weird having a food allergy because, like, you know, people on, like, weird diets all try to recruit you. When they find out, they're like, like, my brother was a uh, vegan for a while. He's like, dude, you got to go plant-based. He almost had me. Like, I do like the idea of not hurting animals. I was like, that is pretty compelling. But I have a oh, problem yeah, where like, I always oh, see God, both yeah. sides of things. So I also kind of dig the idea of killing a creature and absorbing its powers by eating its flesh. <laughs> <laughs> But for me, where I kind of like, you know, where I tap out, I don't, I don't like with vegans, I don't like when they eat imitation meat. When they eat like soy chicken and tofurkey, I don't, it's not for me. It's just weird, man. It's like a, you're doing the thing you say you don't, it's like walking around saying you're not gay and sucking on a dildo. That's how I feel. <laughs> okay. Whoa, buddy. So then you gotta be like, I mean, yeah, technically you're correct, but uh, that's a very strange choice. Like, no, man, it's a textural thing. It's just, there's something to be said for that real dick feel. You gotta try it, man. It's fucking... <laughs> crazy. All right, take your word. 
So now I have to go to Whole Foods, you know? If you have a food allergy, you have to go to Whole Foods. They have all the stuff you need. It's annoying because it's all so expensive. The food there is just ridiculous. And it's also like a culture shock to go from like a normal Philadelphia grocery store to Whole Foods. If you go to Whole Foods, everyone's all like, ah, they're all peppy. You're like, whoa, hey, what's up, man? <laughs> like I'm used to like regular cashiers at like an Acme. Just ladies just fucking slumped and defeated, dude. <laughs> Just a grandma with two big wrist guards on their arms, fucking slugging a deer park, like, <laughs> Just wiping tears off the belt, fucking. <laughs> like, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you go to Whole Foods, they pick up every item, they're like, oh, what's this? I never had this before. It's like, of course you haven't. You're a cashier. You can't afford this shit. Fucking. <laughs> the fuck in the bag. Everything there is expensive, dude. Everything at Whole Foods is super expensive, and the reason why, it's kind of a weird reason, like every product at Whole Foods is designed to make you feel like you're a good person. Like everything, you pick up a bag of sugar, it's like 2% of the proceeds of the sugar go towards some kid in a fucked up country. The kid is so sad. He's having such a bad life, and his mom's mean to him too. And if you buy the sugar, we'll give him some shoes maybe, and you're like, oh, that's nice. Maybe. I get all invested. I'm like, my boy's out there. <laughs> then you fill your cart with all this stuff. You're like, dude, I am a good guy. And then you go check out and you see the sales tax. And you're like, ah, that goes towards bombs for that same kid. Dang it. <laughs> so, Shoot. It does. His first stand of coming But then you, I, I bright sided. I'm like, yeah, maybe we'll get the shoes first. That'd be nice, you know? I can. <laughs> pilot flies away from decimating a village like you see the moccasins on that kid holy shit <laughs> it's nice to know there's good people in the world doing the important work <laughs> do important work That's it is weird that products are designed now to like make us feel certain ways morally that's a i don't know man that's like when the like the medieval church used to sell indulgences where like you could buy your way into heaven that's what it feels like to me it's it's, it's kind of creepy and it's funny because like no one knows this, dude. The first company to do this was Stouffer's. They did this years ago. I, I think I was the only one who noticed. Stouffer's had this thing that said, let's fix dinner. That was their whole campaign. They didn't do anything. They just put a fact on all their boxes of food. The fact was families who eat together more than five nights a week are 50% less likely to have children who abuse drugs and alcohol. Mm. That was it. You would just go, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with Stouffer's. Mm -hmm. Like, if your mom's at home microwaving your dinner five nights a week, there's a good chance that she does drugs and alcohol, dude. <laughs> That's crazy, man. <laughs> That's so, it's so stupid. Yeah, man, it's tough. It's tough with the information, man. You don't know, you don't know what's what. I get, I get tricked all the time. I constantly get tricked with shit. A while back, I was, I was in a vulnerable point in my life, and I saw this article about microdosing. And dude, honestly, it's, it's cool. But like the way it was presented was misleading. It was like, there was this thing, it was like Silicon Valley executives are taking a little bit of LSD and a little bit of mushrooms and crushing it in the boardroom. And I saw that and I was all like, am I not high enough at work? I thought I was, <laughs> I thought I was pretty high. What the hell? And then I had like a temp job at the time. So, you know, I took a little mushrooms in the morning and they called me like, hey, we don't need you today. So I was just in my room like, am I crushing it? I can't tell. <laughs> I'll tell you what doesn't work for sure is macrodosing weed edibles and working for your father for five years. That's not, <laughs> that's not the way. That don't sound good at all, man. That real. was tough, man. My dad does construction, so we'd be in like a trench. I'm running a tamper like, dad, do you think worms are ticklish? <laughs> <laughs> What kind of question is that, son? See my father be physically disappointed, just fucking. <laughs> you think I'm gonna be like you when I grow up? He's like, dude, you're 32. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that period of my life, that wasn't a total waste of time. Honestly, I, I was basically, I was high for my entire 20s. I was just stoned all the time, mm. and I like, I did learn some stuff. I learned some secrets. I think. I think I learned. You think? I learned some secrets, dude. I learned how to drive, by the way. I can be so stoned and drive, no problem. 
I'm not saying you guys do it, but like I can tell you how if you want to. If you want to know, if you guys might be high right now, you got to drive home. You got to do what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's bad advice, man. Here's if you're way too high to drive. Here's all you do: just fucking, you just look at the road signs and you do exactly what they say. <laughs> I think that's what they're there for. No, that's, that, that's something else, buddy. You see 35 miles an hour, you're like, strapping in, here we go. <laughs> no turn on red? I wouldn't dream of that. That's... <laughs> yeah, man, you gotta be careful online, man. I always, you know, I, I try to, like, keep my YouTube algorithm clean of all the political stuff, because that'll get me riled up. And I like to watch YouTube to fall asleep at night. I, I just watch videos, it just helps me pass out. But even like sometimes like that you think the safest video people still get in like we do this thing where like everyone's stepping on each other's necks to be like i'm a good person this person fucking sucks and like we're running out of people to do it yeah. to now so now it's just like dude i watched a video on benjamin franklin totally safe this will be cool it was, it was like a 10 minute video all of his like diplomatic missions and inventions the top rated comment was some lady like yeah he was a piece of shit womanizer <laughs> he cheated on his wife just fucking nuts. I'm like, that's what you're going after? Colonial era infidelity? That's... <laughs> All right, fucking ruining my night, but... So now I'm making a case for Ben in my head. I'm like, yeah, 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 he cheated on his wife. They covered it in the movie, by the way. They didn't lie. I'm like, he also invented electricity. Right. Imagine if it was always dark after 6 p.m. and then it wasn't because of you. Now, you know what? Hey, hey, I, I know I said we ain't gonna do 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 the pauses, but like, there was this one podcast I want to say had like it was a, 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 a it was a, a couple of years ago. It was B Simone, and then it was someone else. They were actually having a debate saying like, is Martin Luther King a good or a great man, even though he had cheated on his wife? But then like they both said that he wasn't great be just because he had cheated on his wife. My thing is is like. Without him, he wouldn't give you give you that shitty ass podcast. Are you saying as a saying here, yeah, dumb ass shit? Anyway, I'm sorry. I I had to go say it because it, it just. Sorry. Did you ever see Benjamin Franklin's wife? Beat. <laughs> Beat. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you ever see Benjamin Franklin's wife? Beat. <laughs> As hell. It wasn't her fault. All the women back then, they didn't have vitamins. They're all just like, ah. <laughs> they all had those big, thick truck driver forearms from constantly burying their kids. That's all they did back then. Fucking. Oh my ah. God. <laughs> Look it up. All the fucking kids died. Don't be pussies. <laughs> That's how it was back then. That's how Shane and him uh, met with, 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 with the Benjamin document. Franklin's inventing electricity and his wife's just at home just burying quadruplets, dude. Just, <laughs> Jesus just hitting the frosty ground like, I can't even right now. <laughs> I hate Mondays. <laughs> Comes home, he's like, babe, you'll never believe this. She's like, grab a shovel, Ezekiel 4's down. We gotta get in the ground. <laughs> Ezekiel <Fuck>. 4. <laughs> It is oh, funny Ben got stupid. caught. Cause like, dude, he was taking a boat to France before the internet and just fucking ladies. And he was like, no one will ever know about this. And then he fucking pussy bragged in one letter. And we're like, oh, got him, fucking got him. Wow, uh, really? Is that really how it happened for real? I think go, uh, Thine pussy was the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> stupid. <laughs> got him. That was a shitty time period to live, man. A couple hundred years ago. Dude, dude, that was like so tough, man. Dudes would just die. Like there was guys whose lives would consist of them just walking in the woods one day and twisting their ankles and just laying there for two weeks like, help, yeah. help. <laughs> then they'd die, that was it. <laughs> I would hate to live uh, back then, man. For yeah, real. family of 14 kids, the dad would go out to get firewood, just like shit himself to death. <laughs> it would get cold. They'd all sit there like dead. Jesus. Bro. I like to take my modern problems and I, I filter them through. Like, would this have mattered 300 years ago? 
It doesn't work. I still obsess over the dumbest stuff. It doesn't do anything for me. But it's a cool thing to think about. You know, it's like, like even, dude, take our worst thing. Dude, take COVID. That sucked. That was bad. Could you imagine explaining COVID to Benjamin Franklin? You might get some perspective. Like, oh, dude, Ben, we got hit with a nasty pandemic. He's like, oh, it got the little ones. Like, nah, more like our 80-year-olds. Uh-huh. He's like, you guys have 80-year-olds? Holy shit, man. That's great. <laughs> right. Right. Well, it also hit the obese pretty bad, too. He's like, what the fuck's the obese, man? <laughs> then you get defensive. You're like, I heard you cheated on your wife, actually. Let's talk about that. Let's focus on that. Right. You, you scumbag. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's so damn funny. <laughs> he is a piece is. of shit for that. <laughs> the obese. <laughs> I would never cheat on my wife, man. I love her to death, man. My wife took me in at a bad time, dude. I was a divorcee. I was scandalized. <laughs> it's tough to re-enter the dating field when you're when you're divorced, man. It's hard, dude. You know, because like you just you get divorced, you just shatter your soul into a million pieces. Then you have to just eventually go on dates. You feel just like a blown out vet. <laughs> like, All right, I guess I'm going back. Uh, <laughs> You're in a fucking Bennigan's with some lady, and she's like, and that's when I discovered nursing was my passion. You're like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> it was weird, too, because, like, you know, my wife, when we were dating initially, I had been married, and she had never been married before. So that's, like, an awkward dynamic. That, it, that feels like, like you're watching a movie with someone where, like, you've seen the movie, and they haven't. You know, you're out in the beginning, they're like, this is great. You're like, yeah, wait till you see the end. It's pretty sad and fucked up. It's pretty bad. Oh, no, buddy. That's dark. It's pretty bad. That's dark. Actually, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Clap it up, your parents are divorced. It's not that big of a deal. Clap it up right now. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. My parents are still together. Sorry about your parents. That's a shame. But, uh, That's, yo, but, man, come on now. So, but no one would clap. Is anyone engaged, by the way? Is there any engagements? There you go. There's the man right there. Did you do the engagement photos? Oh. Ah, it's the best. Seeing your friend look like a huge pussy on Facebook. <laughs> you had your foot on a pumpkin like, oh, is this good, babe? <laughs> 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 Brother, I did it twice. Don't feel bad, man. <laughs> Second time's dark, dude. You're in a Charlie's Angels pose. Like, I wish this was a real fucking gun. I'd shoot myself like fucking <laughs> Why are we in a park? Why are we in a park? <laughs> Yo, man. Shit sucks. Oh, that's so stupid. But no, man, I'm married. I love it, man. I, I'm in a really hot interracial relationship. <laughs> You oh, yeah, she is about. black. I forgot about that. <laughs> My wife's black and I'm Puerto Rican. It's pretty sick. <laughs> no, I'm white. I'm white. I'm white. Oh, for the same. <laughs> it is cool. My wife's a black woman. She can say, like, whatever she wants. Total freedom of speech. It's awesome. She'll, like, but she'll drag me into conversations where I have to be like, hey, I don't know if you know this, but white guys are kind of on house arrest right now. <laughs> you go ahead. Yeah, black women can say whatever they want, except for Whoopi Goldberg for some reason. <laughs> They're on Whoopi's so ass, man. Man. She it annoys me. Stupid as shit. She would apologize recently for using the word gypped. Yeah, she would apologize to the American gypsy community. Which is so stupid. She had to burn so 30 horrible. seconds of primetime TV to say sorry to four toothless carnies. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just some guy fixing a ring toss, like, that fucking bitch better take it back, fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> no man my wife will just like drag me into these conversations where I'm like I don't know I don't know how to respond man it's like like I invited her on a double date not too long ago and it was like a kind of a weird situation it was my friend he's a white guy who just started dating this black chick which first of all I'm kind of like that's my thing <laughs> is, is, is somebody saying I don't know if it's yeah that's saying. kind of annoying and then and it's like, you don't want to go on a double interracial date. Single date's perfect. Cause like you guys are like, we're saving the world. We're so tolerant. Once you're in like a double interracial date, now you're like enthusiasts or something. It's fucking, <laughs> oh, it's swirling a glass. Like we like what we like, you know, it's, it's weird. 
Someone in the comments section, tell me who. But I told my wife the situation. I'm like, come on, man, we should go. You know, we haven't been doing anything. Let's let's go on the date. My wife was like, what kind of black is she? Oh, damn. level two. I don't fucking know, man. How they? <laughs> I can't possibly answer this. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I learn about a lot of white stereotypes too. Being with, I, I like, I hear stuff I'm not supposed to hear. There's a lot of weirdly specific stereotypes about white people. You guys probably have no idea about. I always like walk in on conversations where I hear them, and I'm kind of like. Weird edit right there. I just opened my door. I walked in on one recently. I opened my door. My wife was talking to her aunt on speakerphone. It's a cultural thing. And I, I opened my door. I stopped. I opened my door. <laughs> he ain't lying, though. It's a custom. Be respectful. And I, I just opened the lying, door though. to her aunt being like, you know white people don't care about their grandparents? And I was like, ah, damn it, dude. <laughs> Fuck, that one's true. That hurts. That's... I didn't know anyone knew about that. How the hell did they know? It's true. I don't know. My mom calls me every like five months. She's like, you know your great aunt Bridie died. And I'm like, mom, do I, she's like, you have to go. I'm like, oh fuck, all right. <laughs> I, I have to go literally ID the body at the funeral. I go and I'm like, oh fuck, that lady. Uh. <laughs> That's crazy. I hate funerals. Then you have to like try to like talk to a dead person in your head. It's always, I just panic. I don't know what to say. I just like, it's just like, I, I just, rattle off some shit Ice-T would say on NCIS and my like, crime doesn't pay, you fucking punk. And I thought you'd walk I forgot he said that, that's it. Oh. But yeah, so it's, it's fun though, man. It's cool, you know, being in a, a relationship like that. I get like, having a black wife is a confidence booster sometimes. Certain situations, it, like, dude, like, customer service disputes. Bro. <laughs> Black ladies are like the Navy SEALs of customer service. Dude. They fucking, <laughs> it's crazy. I always, I'm first wave, I'm the scout. <laughs> I go up, I'm like, hey, uh, I noticed our flight's delayed. Do you know how long that's gonna be by chance? And like, sir, shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> Sit the fuck down. I'm like, all right. I always give him another chance. I'm like, are you sure? <laughs> You'll never guess who's following me up, dude. <laughs> I go, I just tell him, like, uh, it was that lady right there. Right? <laughs> she comes back five minutes later with like a $50 gift card. She's like, we're taking off, throw it on the pile. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not all fun and games, man. We do deal with stuff. We still have a race problem in this country, you know? A lot of perceptual stuff, you know? Like there's just like sometimes you will just be looked at differently and I you know it is what it is like I I here's the thing I, I bought us a pair of matching sweatpants from Walmart I thought it'd be funny it's not nobody likes it but they're these like pattern weird looking sweatpants and like we still have them so sometimes like laundry just works out the way we're we're just out of stuff and we both wear them we don't even think about it we'll be out like running errands in our matching sweatpants and we'll be like like arguing in the electronics department at a Target. And I'll see the people looking at us who work there. And I know they're thinking we're one of those crackhead couples. <laughs> I know what they're thinking. They think, well, you know those couples that like walk along the side of the highway together? <laughs> well, really? Just visibly bound in failure for all to see. Just, you know those guys? Failure is crazy. They always make me laugh. I'm like, why the highway? What the hell? <laughs> Checking Google Maps. Like I said, it's going to take five days and four hours. We're going to take the turnpike. Come on. Ah, uh, yeah. I love those guys. It's like the heroin Oregon Trail. You see them out there, you're like, God damn. <laughs> Prospectors. You see their sweatpants catch the wind, you're like, oh my God, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we argue, it sucks. I hate arguing with my wife. I wish we didn't, but we do. We've been together before. for so long, it's like embarrassing at this point, you know? Because we, we don't even have anything to argue about. Our arguments are like, they're like abstract. They're like philosophical battles at this point. They don't even, it's like, my house is like ancient Greece, dude, when we argue. How so? Like my wife, it's like stupid stuff. Like I'll be downstairs, she's like, hey, make sure you load the dishwasher before you go to bed tonight. And my brain does that thing where it's like, delete, fucking. <laughs> Control, alt, delete. I don't do it on purpose. My mind's just like, this other thing's more important than I just. I mean, I can 
I hate that. I happened, that. though. I mean. But then all, the next morning, you know, it all crashes down on me. She's like, why didn't you load the dishwasher? And I'm like, I forgot. She's like, how did you forget? And I'm like, you want me to explain the absence of thoughts? <laughs> 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 it's a logical fallacy, and I won't. Look, I mean. We argue happened, over the man, toilet seat. That's so embarrassing. I hate that, man. Just so oh, stupid and cliche God. that, you know. But yeah, she all the time. And I, dude, I'll put it down. I don't care. I'll put it down. Sometimes I forget. You know, and I'm like, all I'm asking you is just fucking gently lower it. Don't slam it like an asshole. Just fucking, just put it down. It's not the end of the world. And I'm like, what's the worst thing that could happen by it being up? She's like, I could fall in there at nighttime. I'm like, what, do you run to the bathroom ass first and jump? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> So now I, do. I put it down every time, but I also put that little one, too. I put that down, like, fuck you, I drop that down. Oh, shit. And I Ass pee on it a little. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Come on, man. You can't win arguments with women, man. They'll just destroy you. It's their game. Literally. You think you win. They'll wait, like, three weeks and just fucking lance you. It'll be like three weeks later, and she'll be like, what's up with your teeth? Like, I don't know. What do you mean? She's like, oh, never mind. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> right? They'll get you with their celebrity crushes. That hurts, man. Just stop, stop doing that, man. That hurts us. We were watching the movie Fury. Did you ever see Fury? World War II movie, Brad Pitt, Army Tanks. Awesome movie. We're having a good time. We're enjoying it. Halfway through, Brad Pitt movie. pops out of an Army tank. He just like won a battle. He's like, yeah. His shirt's ripped. I'm like, yeah, how does a shirt get ripped inside of a tank? But <laughs> I'm not ruining it for us. I'm, I'm quiet. He pops out of the tank, you can see like his stomach. My wife didn't even say anything, she just went, mm. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm watching a whole different movie. <laughs> I'm rooting for the Nazis now. <laughs> I'll tell you, you can get killed. <laughs> oh, shit. That's I'm Googling it. shit, I'm like, yeah, the economy was pretty fucked up. No one wants to talk about it. <laughs> 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 but yeah, man. That's funny. She's a good girl, though. She's always trying to get me to come out of my shell, you know? That's a big thing. She's always trying to get me to, like, kind of open up a lot. And, that's you know, so I, I appreciate that. Cool. But, like, she's always like, I want to know, like, what's your top fantasy? I'm like, you know, I don't... I'm old enough. I'm, I don't want to do anything new. It's like, you, can, you take a chance on a fetish, you can't go back. <laughs> like, there's some out there. If you bust that out, that's it. Like, sir, do you know what cuckolding is? You you familiar with the term? Sounds do you know what it is, ma'am? Yeah, it's when a man burns with the desire to see another man with his woman. Oh, no. We're not into it. He's a fucking freak, dude. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's... That's an example. It's like, dude, you can't, like, rewind no. the clock on that. No, you if you not. set that up, if you don't like that, that's a problem. Just some guy just slamming your wife, and after like five minutes, you're like, yeah, you know what, guys? No, that's actually not what I like at all. <laughs> that, hey, it's your coworker. You're like, Dave, stop, Dave. It's your coworker? It's like breaking up a dog fight. You're like, come on, get, get, get out, get out of there. Knock it off. <laughs> no, I, I That'd be terrible, man. My wife always, weird. what's your top fantasy? I don't know how to tell my wife that my top fantasy at this point is just a woman being nice to me. That's all I want. <laughs> That's all I want, man. I can relate to that. My <laughs> top fantasy right now is we're driving, I make a left turn. My wife goes, where are you going? I say, it's a new shortcut I figured out. And she goes, cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's simple, but I, I understand what he, he is saying, though. Don't get mad at me. Like, oh, babe, I'm about to turn Let's off the GPS. It. She's like, do it. I'm like, oh my fucking God. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but my wife, my wife, she's, you know, she's more bold and kind of outgoing. My wife likes role play, which is, you know, I do it, obviously. I'm a sexually desperate man, but. <laughs> fucking role, it's so weird, because she'll just fucking, you know, I don't have time to prepare for the role. She's just like, bam, go. And I'm like, oh, Because in order to have sex, when you're married, before you have sex, you have to go out to dinner and eat, like, a ton of food. Which, most nights, it ends up with, like, two just stuffed people looking at each other going like, nah, fucking, <laughs> scrap it, we'll do it later. But on this night, we, you know, the planet's aligned, we're sitting on a couch, we're full, just grossly making out a married couple, just fucking, uh, just like two slugs mating, just, uh, 
<laughs> trying to force blood to our genitals. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then my wife, you know, she springs the roll on me. She goes, you're not going to tell my husband about this, are you? Uh, you want me to practice cheating on me with you? <laughs> All right. Um, well, your husband's a good man, and frankly, I... <laughs> he's been a good friend to me, and I don't know how I feel about our tryst, actually, ma'am. Good day, and, you know... No, she's like, seriously, don't ruin this. I was like, all right, fine, fine, fine. So I got into character. I got real deep into character. I, I grabbed the back of her head, and I was like, your husband's podcast is so fucking funny. Oh. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Yo, okay. Yo, that was good. That was good. Okay, so, like, again, I get, okay, so, again, I do apologize. Well, I said again, like, uh, at least eight times, but I do apologize for not actually finishing up this episode uh, last week, we think, because, again, I was caught up with all of the other uh, episodes from from a, from Matt and Shane's podcast. Oh, man, it, it, it's like, okay, so, you guys were telling me that this was Matt's first stand-up in, like, a long time because he, he, was, he took a hiatus from doing stand-up comedy because he was focused on uh, other uh, projects and things like that but man like n like knowing him now watching this it's like holy shit he 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 is funny as shit. He, he is funny as crap oh man god I i'm glad that i have finished up this particular episode man I again i do apologize uh yeah uh, if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know in the comment section down below. Or, you know, you can always uh, send me uh, any sort of emails through my contact email, which should be in the description or or in the I'm on page, whatever, X, Y, and Z. So, anyways, if you guys really enjoyed this reaction today, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Let me know in the comment section down below. Watch what you react to next. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, my name is Nova, and I'll see you guys next episode. Peace!